I had a money grunt. And I can't believe I'm gonna do this like a second time. But hey, that's what happens when you don't write a script. But um this is a video response to Rebel Taxi's video concerning Justin Bieber fans and haters and how they need to die. Also, yeah, yeah, you know, and then that was his response to the whole Never Say Never movie release that's coming next month. Oh, I can hardly wait. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I was going to, you know, go through a dissection of, um, you know, the fans and the haters, but seeing as how I'm kind of a little, uh, tired from, uh, staying up late <laughs> to, like, 12.21 in the freaking morning, um, I'm just going to let the crankiness take over from there. Because, quite frankly, as of now, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it all. I'm tired of the constant babble about this kid. <laughs> it's like, the haters, they say they hate him. They say they want to kill him. They say that he needs to die. And it's like, has it ever occurred to any of you morons that if you just ignore his existence... He'll go away faster. Besides, he's only a pop fat. He ain't got that long to last anyway. My prediction is after his movie, his popularity will drop. I mean, to reference Iron Maiden here, he's a freaking power slave for crying out loud. And for those of you who don't get what I just said, allow me to explain. <sighs> I think it was like, oh man. Okay, on the title track of Iron Maiden's album, Power Slave, the song basically is an expression of Bruce Dickinson's horrible outlook on the music industry and how they tend to um, overlook musicians' talent and go more so for profit. Basically, in short, when the musician or singer runs their course, they're just tossed aside. <laughs> it means for someone new. <laughs> and basically, upon learning that, I thought, wow, that's basically the history of music from ever since television came to into existence as far as I know well, it was all it became somewhat about image but that aspect just grew and grew and grew as time went on to current point where we are today where it's like hey <laughs> you don't even need to have singing talent anymore we have auto-tune now but that's for another day. Um, basically, it annoys me to high holy heaven how much time them haters devote to just hating this fad. Does not mean he's not that hard to ignore? For those of you who go, I can't escape from him. He's everywhere I go. He's not that hard to ignore. <laughs> if you spend a little more time devoting it to the things you enjoy in life instead of just staring at him <laughs> every time he pops up <clears throat> you'll find that it's incredibly hard to notice him I mean take it from me I practically buried myself in wanting to find a second job writing and seeking a publisher, um, uh, let's see, what else have I buried myself in? Oh yeah, and forming a team of artists and writers, um, and, uh, you know, just making videos whenever I can. <sighs> but while I've been burying myself in Outside of that, there are a lot of things about pop culture that I have been unaware of. Like, 
take for example the comment that um, Rebel Taxi read off at the ending of his video. Supposedly the user in question had stated that Justin Bieber had won more awards than the Jonas Brothers had. And of course as I was watching that I thought to myself, seriously? When the hell did this come about? Because as far as I know he's only won one award. What a shock. <laughs> and that was like the later part of last year. I think it was the Grammys. I don't know, I don't remember, because quite frankly, I don't care. I have a selective memory, folks, and which means I can choose what to remember and what to forget. Anything I deem unimportant, I just forget. <laughs> so, do forgive me if I don't remember nor care to remember what that single award was that he won. So... I would ask, go ahead, and enlighten me on all the awards that he had won, but quite frankly, folks, I don't care. I have far more important things in my life to worry about. <laughs> and, uh, outside of that, there's also the, uh, factor that Rebel Taxi mentioned all the, uh, pop acts that, um, we were into in the 80s and 90s that weren't so great. Uh, you know, like Vanilla Ice, Criss Cross. I'm not sure if my opinion on Criss Cross has changed. I may have to listen to some of their older stuff again. Because, <laughs> I mean, for me, if I were to compare them to what they have now, I'd probably say they're a lot better than what's out today in terms of as far as rap goes. But, um, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Um, and then, of course, there's how he mentioned how NSYNC, Britney Spears, and Backstreet Boys were the it thing in the late 90s, as well as the, uh, all the other pop acts on, um, that got <laughs> featured on the Pokemon First Movie soundtrack. <laughs> and where are they today? Oh, they're probably still making music. <laughs> I know Mandy Moore starred in Tangled, which was kind of a shock for me. Um, and she wasn't that bad as Rapunzel, actually, but I don't think I mentioned that in my Tangled review. Oh, well. <laughs> um, but yeah, Britney Spears, of course, is a still, still alive and kicking so far as music goes. So, yeah, whereas I'd love to say, actually, that's what I will say. If music truly is Justin Bieber's passion, once he fades from, you know, being the it flavor of the, of the year after his movie comes out, which is why I want to tell haters, quit worrying. Because the way I see it, after his movie comes out, it'll just pretty much agreeing with Rebel Taxi here, he'll fade into obscurity, just like every other pop fad. Because this is how it works. If you're nothing but an it flavor and you do nothing to make your mark on the world or differentiate you from all the other uh, pop acts of your time, once you get a movie made about you, there's nothing left for you but to go downhill. I mean, look at the Jonas Brothers, look at Miley Cyrus, hell, look at Twilight. Who talks about that book anymore? I mean, even with Breaking Dawn come out, coming out, seriously, who mentions that anymore? Who talks about it? Who rants about it? Who expresses their love for it, considering that almost every Twilight fan has pretty much probably burned their books by now after reading Breaking Dawn? But yeah, that's my little tirade, and I'll see you all in the next video. I'm off to get breakfast.